Once again, thank you, Tina, and welcome to our second special guest of the night, Professor Tim Mickleborough from Indiana State University. Tim and his research team are working to fully understand why omega-3 has such a beneficial effect with asthma sufferers. Helping in the research is the omega-3 product produced from the New Zealand green lip mussel and sold worldwide as Lipronol. We welcome Professor Tim Mickleborough as our second special guest on The Beat Goes On. Very big welcome to The Beat Goes On for Tim Mickleborough. Good to be here. That's a good name, isn't it? Mickleborough. Where would you get a name like Mickleborough? Uh, my, my grandfather decided to change the spelling of Mickleborough from the, it was spelt um, E-L, M-I-C-K-E-L, and he decided he had a fallout with his brothers and decided to change it to L-E. Wow. So, yeah. It's a good English name. Exactly. Isn't it? So Tim, uh, you're a research professor mm -hmm. and uh, you travel the world and you do research at universities and thank you for coming on to The Beat Goes On. My pleasure. You're here to tell us some important information for us baby boomers. We're riddled with, uh, and I'm, I'm one of them, we're riddled with uh, uh, inflammation. It's the hidden killer. Arthritis, of course we've got asthma effects, heart failure and uh, uh, you know, as the baby boomers age, there's a, there's a tremendous amount of research going on around the world because it's a big market, isn't it? Well, it's, it's, it's pretty varied, but basically I focus in on the inflammatory processes, um, mostly to do with how nutrition affects inflammation, and in particular airway inflammation, and therefore that leads into um, dietary factors and the influence of dietary factors, various dietary factors, on asthma. So that's my, that's my big focus at the moment. And where do you do all this work, uh, Tim? Uh, Indiana University in Bloomington, Indiana. It's about 50 miles. I know you guys are in kilometers, but so it's about uh, maybe 75 kilometers south of Indianapolis. Why is this research important? Well, like I said, my, my research really looks at the uh, effect of nutrition on, on airway disease, in particular asthma. So when you think about, for instance, you know, New Zealand has a population of 4.4 million, roughly, and around about 15 to 20% of that population has asthma. So that's anywhere from 600 to 900,000 people in New Zealand, I'm taking New Zealand as an example of course since I'm here, have asthma. And we've shown in our past research that uh, different, a lot of different dietary factors like a diet low in salt, a diet high in vitamin C, a diet high in fish oil, alleviates the condition of, ex and, and I'm using exercise induced asthma as my model, exercise induced asthma, which is huge. Mm. And when you consider that 90% of asthmatics exhibit exercise and use asthma, this has a huge impact on the quality of life of asthmatics. Our diet, our baby boomer diet, you know, you whip down to McDonald's or you whip down to uh, fast food and uh, what's happening to us as we uh, well, eat these types of things? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not getting at McDonald's because right. I mean, I like a Big Mac, but um, <laughs> what, what's happening to our modern civilization? Well, unfortunately, as we're moving towards these fast food, um, the fast food diet, so to speak, where um, our diet's moving into uh, containing more omega-6 omega fatty acids, which are the bad the bad, um, the bad fats we get from the fried foods, et cetera, et cetera. Consumption is going up mm. and our omega-3 consumption is going down. And then omega-3s, you know, we can find in leaf, leafy green vegetables, for instance. Of course, fish itself is very, very, very high in omega-3 fatty acids. Um, so we see, we're seeing a reduction in those types of foods and an increase in the, the fatty foods, um, which is not good. And you can, comp you can definitely combat that with taking more omega-3 fatty acids. There's no doubt. I mean, the good news about omega-3 fatty acids, depending, doesn't matter on the, necessarily the source, whether it's fish, fish oil, you know, lipronol, um, what you're doing there, you're targeting the, health, the, whole, the whole health of the body. Yes. So yes, you are targeting, hopefully, the inflammatory process, you know, the problem that you have with arthritis, but you think about, um, you know, the components of EPA and DHA, for instance, DHA is very, very good for the brain, extremely good for the brain, helps with stabilizing mood, um, you know, um, cognition, depression, so you know, there's there's wide-reaching of um, wide-reaching health benefits to taking omega-3 fatty acids beyond even targeting what you think is the problem with you, whether it's inflammatory or bowel disease. So, huge. You're actually doing you're actually doing it. You've got a laboratory, and you have people come in, and they, and it's it's intense research, isn't it? In my particular case, I'm using asthmatics as as my um, inflammatory disease, so to speak, my model. We do a whole battery of tests. We do a lot of lung function tests, of course. Um, before and after supplementation. We do, we actually also collect vapors from the airways to actually assay biochemically these markers of airway inflammation. I started 
researching this area, exercise and asthma and the effect of nutrition back when I was doing my master's degree. And it's really taken a momentum of its own. I was looking at dietary salt and how that affects asthma and exercise and asthma. Then I got into fish oil, omega-3 fatty acid supplementation, antioxidants, and then re more recently as well, looking at um, types of different types of marine oils, and lipronol is one of those. I found that lipronol was just as effective as fish oil, which is also another, of, of course, omega-3, in um, improving uh, lung function in exercise new asthmatics, and again, reducing those markers of inflammation that we spoke about um, earlier, and reducing symptoms, um, reducing medication use, um, which is, again, phenomenal. And it's, well, it comes from a beautiful area of New Zealand, Marlborough, and beautiful, clean, wonderful waters, and the mussels grow down there. And they're producing, well, it, I've heard some, some of the best omega-3 in the world. I've been astounded with the results that the, the Lipronol study produced. Uh, we just had it um, started. We actually have just published it in Respiratory Medicine, which is a very, very good respiratory journal that goes all around the world. And what we showed basically, again, like I said earlier, is that the results were just as good as what we showed with fish oil. But the big, you know, the big clincher for me is that in terms of bang for your buck, you're getting more bang for your buck from the Lipronol than you are with the fish oil. There's, there's upwards of 92 fatty acids in Lipronol, whereas there's about five to seven total fatty acids in fish oil. And there's also been identified a, a very minor component of, of um, the marine lipid fraction of Lipronol called furin fatty acids. Um, they're an interesting fatty acid. There's not many of them, but they are very, very potent. And this comes from the little green This comes from the little, li the little yeah. green lip muscle. So yeah. um, whether we'll ever truly get at the mechanism, I don't know. You can argue that it's not the EPA and DHA content of um, the muscle or, or the, of the marine lipid fraction that's causing the cut in inflammation. But with 92 essential fatty acids, certainly they're working in some way. We got our inflammation over a, a, a long period of time. It just slowly developed. And we have to reverse the process, don't we? If, we? if we want to live longer and have a better life. Absolutely, absolutely. And unfortunately, you know, the syndrome X diseases of the modern world, the diabetes, you know, the ones we've already mentioned, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, yeah, I mean, some of this is definitely can be attenuated with a better diet. There's absolutely no doubt. And hopefully the omega-3s can help with that. You have a great life, don't you? Uh, yeah. I mean, you're actually doing something that can that help, help the human race. It's a great feeling, isn't it? It is a great feeling. And, you know, it's also interesting that, um, you know, obviously the general public are very interested in this area, but as, for instance, the U.S. Army, the military, are very, very interested in omega-3 fatty acid supplementation. Wound healing, trauma helps with that. Um, cognition and the brain. So they're pumping a lot of money at the moment um, into that area, and I've actually submitted a big grant to them recently, should be hearing pretty soon, on this area, omega-3 supplementation and performance optimization. Look, Tim, we could, this is fascinating, but uh, what's your last, your last advice to the baby boomer? Uh, here in New Zealand, uh, a little bit different in America, but, uh, yeah, but I mean, we're all, uh, all us aging Baby boomers, what's your advice? Well, my, my advice would certainly t would be to increase your consumption of omega-3 fatty acids, for sure. Um, and if you, you still like your McDonald's and, and everything, basically make sure you're taking your omega-3s. Yeah. And that would be, obviously, my, my advice would be, uh, certainly New Zealand, Lipron that's where Lipronol would come in. And then, again, you know, if you're asthmatic, for instance, and certainly what my research has shown is that if you, can, if you take Lipronol, for instance, and a lot of baby boomers have, obviously, asthma, then that's going to reduce your symptoms of asthma. Um, you're going to have an improved quality of life. And are you, most importantly, hopefully, it's going to reduce medication. Because medication... Yeah, that's the big thing, isn't yeah, it? The, yeah, that, exactly. The medication does have side effects. Yeah. So if you don't inhale corticosteroids, for instance, which, again, like I mentioned earlier, kind of um, tries to dampen down the airway inflammation, um, over, the, over the long term, that can affect the kidney, the inhaled corticosteroids. Um, the puffers that you see people taking before exercise or before exertion, there's short-acting ones and there's long-acting ones. In particular, with the long-acting ones, research has shown that the longer you take those, you build up a tolerance to them. So they're not going to work as well. So that's very, very important. 
So with Lipronol... So do it the um, natural way. Do it, do it the, the natural, natural way. way. Increase yeah. your omega-3s, there's yeah. absolutely no doubt. And with my research now, I've done you know four or five papers looking at this area on asthma, and each one has shown with the omega-3 supplementation absolutely works. Well, that's great because you know we read all these things about omega-3, and we just take it for granted that uh, we're, we're being told the truth, but you've actually gone through the exercise and had people coming in and tested them, and, uh, exactly. and you've, seen the, you've seen the difference. I've so seen it does the work. Tim? been wonderful to see you and where are you off to next you're touring I'm, the world no i'm back yeah. home back home back to home indiana to indiana oh. this evening